Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and having a fantastic week. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to keep your birds entertained when you have to leave the house. Now, as much as I love being a homebody and we're really fortunate to work from home, sometimes I do have to go out, whether that's to, you know, go for, to the shops or something or go see family and friends, that kind of thing. And you may have other situations where you have to leave the house, such as school, college, university, work, lots of different reasons why we have to go out. And of course, our babies need to be entertained. They don't go into standby mode when we go out. So we need to make sure that we are giving them the best opportunities for enrichment when we are out of the house. Now, I wanted to start with a couple of things not to do when you leave your birds at home, because there are a few things I highly recommend not doing, and then I'm gonna get into some things that you can do to keep them entertained. So the first thing I recommend not doing is please don't just leave your birds out roaming the house or your room or whatever it may be. You may think that it's bird safe and contained, but we know our birds and we know that if there's some sort of danger, they will find it, and you don't want any kind of accidents happening when you're out and about. So please make sure your bird has a very large, uh, adequate size care for them to be enjoying. Now there are some people who seem to see cages as a bad thing and it's because they see them as used in the wrong context. Your bird's cage is like their bedroom. It should be seen as a place for fun and opportunity for enrichment. It's also a safe space as well for them to go to. It's not, you know, anything bad. It just needs to be used in the right way. And of course, if we're leaving the house, we need to make sure that our birds are staying safe. So do make sure that your bird has an adequate sized cage to be in when you're out of the house. The next thing not to do is please don't play your bird noises for your birds. You may think that you're kind of giving them company, but actually bird noises, cocktail sounds, all that kind of thing is really gonna stress your bird out because they're gonna think that there's another bird there, but they can't see them, and it's just gonna make them go crazy and probably make them really noisy. So I don't think your neighbor's gonna like that too much. So please don't uh, play any kind of bird noises for your birds, but I'll tell you in a bit what you can play for them. Now the other thing that I don't recommend, which might surprise you, is I don't recommend leaving a TV on for your birds, unless it's a specific circumstance, which I'm gonna go into in a second. Now, parrots typically see at a frame rate of about 100 frames per second, which is really high, which is obviously great for them. They have a really excellent sense of vision during the day. However, most TVs are about 24 to 60 frames per second. Now, if you think about that, it's almost like a strobe effect or a flashing light for them because they see in a higher frame rate than most TVs, which is why it's not gonna be very nice for them. It's gonna be a little bit stressful having that flashing light going off. Now, saying that, some 4K TVs actually have a frame rate of about 120 frames per second, which means that they are absolutely fine to put on for your birds. So you need to know what your specific TV does. We are very privileged to have one of those 4K TVs and Fish loves watching the football or the soccer, depending on where you're from. Um, so we know that's okay for them, but just be aware of what you have and whether that's potentially gonna be causing stress to your birds. So now I'm gonna tell you about some of the ways you can entertain your birds when you are out and about. And one of the great ways of doing that is through foraging toys. Now in the wild, birds will spend about 50 to 70% of their day foraging for goodies. So if we can try and simulate that under human care, it's obviously gonna be really mentally beneficial for them and physically beneficial for them too. Now we have this awesome foraging wheel here. You do need to train your birds how to use these toys, otherwise they may go hungry because they'll be like, I don't know how to get my snacks. But you can fill this with treats, you can fill it with crinkle paper like I have, and then they can spend their day kind of turning the wheel and trying to get their treats. You can use other ones like these, where you can hide little treats in little sections. Both of these are actually from Northern Parrots. I've got a link down below if you want to go and check them out. But foraging toys like these can help spread the food around and keep your birds active when they're looking for their snacks throughout the day. keeping things interesting for your birds is to give them new toys every day. We have a great big toy boxes full of toys because I can't help buying them and we just mix them around every single day. So there's always something different for our birds to play with when they're having their in-cage time which makes it really enriching. Now a point on this is some birds are quite neophobic. They're scared of new things and that's kind of normal but we also want to work on those fear responses. So make sure that your bird isn't scared of the toys when you put them in because then they're not going to have a very nice day when you're out and about but it is really interesting to mix things up. We, as I said, we do it with all of our birds every single day just to keep things really interesting and then there's lots of opportunities for fun and destroying things. Now at the start, I mentioned not playing bird noises, but you can play your birds music 
we do have a home assistant i'm not going to say her name but we put this on every single day for our birds chip is like i'm gonna mess your hair up so apologies for my weird hair for the rest of the video um but yeah we play our home assistant we ask for top pop or top dance but yes abba like lots of different kinds of music they like rock they like classical so you can see what your bird prefers and you maybe make them a little playlist whatever you like um but having that kind of music on in the background can be quite comforting for birds but it is also a way of providing auditory enrichment which is just another way of providing a different sensory enrichment for your birds. The next point is to train your bird to use the whole of their cage. Now some of you may know where this is going, we're going to be talking about what's down here which is substrate. Something we're really really passionate about over here at the Bird Nerd HQ and that is having our birds explore the whole of the cage and providing a substrate base. Now cockatiels in particular are ground feeders so providing that substrate base means that they can go down to the floor, they can play with things, they can play with floor toys, they can forage down there and then we can put different toys and perches down there. It just opens up more of the space because quite often only usually the top half or even the top third of a cage is used. Now you do need to work on your positioning with perches and toys and things like that but that's absolutely fine and as I've talked about so many times we use Easy Chick. It is only available in the UK at the moment. I get questions all the time and I have asked them um, but Easy Chick is awesome. You could also use unscented and untreated pine shavings that are also dust free. That's a great option. Even shredded paper, things like that and as I said it just opens up a world of opportunity for your birds. And I know some people think that, oh, it's going to be more high maintenance having substrate down there, but it really isn't. I've spoken about this in loads of different videos. I'll leave some of my videos about substrate down below, but it is really easy to keep clean. It takes me two minutes to spot clean every day and I full clean once a week. Um, and yeah, I would never go back. Our birds just absolutely love it. So I think it's really highly recommended. And uh, yeah, it just opens up the whole of the cage so that your bird is enjoying more space and it gives them more opportunity for enrichment. Now something else you could do is maybe sweet talk a friend or a neighbour or even potentially hire a pet sitter once in a while just to pop in to see your little feathered friends so that they can have a little bit of company during the day and it kind of breaks up the day for them. This is what we do if we have to go out for the whole day we'll normally have our neighbour or our friend pop in just to check on them and uh, some people actually like coming to break up their day to spend some time with the cute little feathered babies so that could be a way of just kind of making sure and giving you peace of mind as well if you do have to go out that uh, you can check on your babies and they can have a little bit of fun meeting somebody new. And finally, what I also recommend, which sometimes is a bit of a controversial subject, but I just wanted to put it out there, is we always feel like having more than one bird in your flock is really beneficial for the whole of your flock, including yourself. So birds really thrive off of communication and they are of course very social as well. And I know in some situations people can't have more than one bird and I completely understand that. But if you're ever in a position to get more than one bird, it is so, so beneficial for your bird's mental health, for um, providing them enrichment, for just giving them the social needs that they require. Because yes, they can get their social needs from us, but it doesn't compare to being able to communicate with their same species. So. If you can, I highly recommend having a second bird. Now, of course, this isn't plain sailing, and I'm not saying you can just go and shove this bird in with your old bird, and then they're going to get along. Some birds don't get along. But with our birds, you can see we've got a uh, chip and fish's cage behind me. We've got scampion pickles, olives over to the side. And whilst they all don't technically get along when they're having their out of cage time, they do actually communicate with each other. They do find comfort with, you know, being in their flock together. I know when we go in another room with Scampi and Pickles, Olive will call to them, uh, which is really cute. So she does find that comfort from having them there. She just doesn't want them in their space. And I can understand that because we don't always get along. However, it is really important, if you can, to consider having more than one bird because it is going to provide them that comfort. Because if you only have one bird, you are your bird's flock. And if you're out quite a lot, that can be a little bit stressful for your birds and it, they can get a little bit lonely sometimes. As I said, some birds will cope with this fine, some birds won't. But uh, it's something we're really passionate about, so if you can, definitely consider adding another bird to your flock. And of course, we always recommend, if possible, to rehome or rescue, because there are so many parrots looking for a loving forever home, and uh, we highly recommend it. So that brings me to the end of the video. Let me know down in the comments if you have any other tips to keep your birds busy while you are out and about. Maybe something you've tried and tested. Do let us know so we can all have lots of different tips and tricks to keep our birds nice and happy and busy during the day. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having an amazing week. Let me know how you're doing down in the comments as I would love to speak to you. And of course, if you have any video requests, uh, my DMs are always open. You can always leave me a comment as well if you'd like to request a video because I'm always looking for more inspiration for content, although I do have a list as long as my arm. <laughs> making videos but you know it's always fun to brainstorm anyway in the meantime thank you so much for watching hope you're having a fantastic day take care and see you later